Interesting. Now, as we all know by now that Spider-Man is going to have yet another animated series right after the ending of Ultimate Spider-Man. And what we now know, that in this season, or at the very least the first story arc, this show is going to somewhat adapt the Spider-Island storyline. Now, in the shorter summary of things, Spider-Island is an event in which pretty much everyone in New York gets Spider-Powers. However, it turns out to be a deadly virus in which transforms people into mutated spiders and that Spider-Man has to find a way to stop it from spreading across the world and cure everyone else. And that I assume in this story arc for the show that that's going to be the bear for both Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen. Side note, Venom is also confirmed to be in this animated series. Now we already know that in this animated series, Spider-Man is already established to be Spider-Man and has been doing it for quite a few years. However, I don't know how to feel about having him teaming up with Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen because we've already had Ultimate Spider-Man in which already had him teaming up with both Spider-Gwen and Miles Morales. And honestly, I was anticipating Spider-Man to go solo for at the very least the first season. That way it would feel different in comparison to the last series. Now don't get me wrong, I love Miles Morales and he is one of the best characters that Marvel has introduced in recent memory. And although it's a little too repetitive that Spider-Gwen's getting put into literally everything Marvel can throw at this point, I still think she is a relatively interesting character. But if it was down to me, I would have Peter Parker going solo for the first season, introduce Gwen as a love interest for Peter Parker, figuring out his true identity, and then have her create an her own suit in which she can climb up walls and have web shooters, and have her be Spider-Gwen for season 2, and then by season 3, introduce Miles Morales and have all three spiders team up together. And although I'm not a fan of Spider Island as a storyline, give credit where credit is due, this this is the perfect storyline in which you could introduce both Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen at the same time. And that way you could also avoid the storyline in which Peter Parker dies. TWICE. But despite how skeptical I am about this series, at the same time I can't wait to see how this will turn out. So are you excited for the new animated series for Spider-Man? And are you glad that they're going to adapt loosely on the Spider Island storyline? Comment below and share some thoughts. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Take care and have a good one.